Hello everyone, my name is Mark. And I'm Destiny. Today we're going to talk about what time is it? What time is it? Okay? Alright. So, Destiny, what is this? It looks like time. Yes, so what time is it? It's time. You can read time on watches and clocks. On different ways you can read time. Okay, so this is time. So what is this? Those are clocks. Clocks. Yes, perfect. So this is a clock. That's a, a you can read the time of, of a clock. Do you know how to read the time? I do. Okay, so what time is this? It's four o'clock. Perfect. So it's four, four o'clock. It's four o'clock. So there you can see there's four as well. How about this one? Now it's, there's a seven and there's a ten. It's 710. Ah, it's really easy. Just 710. There's a 10 and there's a 7, so it's just 710. The hour hand is on 7, the minute hand is on 10, so it's 710. But you can say it a different way. It's 10 because it's 10. Past because it's past. And 7. So you can say it's 10 past 7, and that's a way you can do it as well. How about this one? It's 7.15. 7.15? So 7.15 because it's on 15 in long hand. Short hand is on 7. So it's 7.15. Or you can say it's 15 past 7 because it's 15 minutes past 7. Or I guess you could say it's a quarter past Perfect. 7. So or you can say a quarter past 7 as well. We will get there because there are four quarters in an hour. So it's quarter past seven. You can say that as well. How about this one? There's a seven and a thirty. So it's seven thirty. Seven thirty. So seven thirty. So in a different way you can say it. You can say there's thirty minutes past seven. There's thirty past seven, but it can be half past seven. Perfect. So because it's exactly half of an hour, so you can say it's half past seven as well. How about this one? 7 and there's a 35. It's 7.35. So 7.35. Now, for this one it gets more difficult. After it gets until a half past something or 30 minutes past, how do you, how do you think we can say it? Do you say 35 minutes past 7? No, you would have to use the next hour. Yes. So now you start looking at the next hour. The 7 is now closer to the 8. Oh, the, the shorthand is closer to the 8 than 7. So that means it is... Till 8. Yes, so we can say it's 25, because there are 60 minutes in an hour. So you can say 60 minus 35, 25. 25 to 8. So you see it's more difficult to say this way. But it's still okay. Mm -hmm. So it's 25 to 8. Till 8, to 8. Till okay. always. <laughs> How about this one? Now it's a 40. All right, Seven. so it's 740. 740, easy way. How can you say it more difficult way? It would be 20 till 8. Yes. So it's 20 to 8 because 60 minus 40 is 20. So it's 20 to, to 8. How this one? 745. 745, so that's a quarter till 8. Perfect. So like we said, there are four quarters. So there's only one quarter left. So you can say, it's 15 to 8 or? A quarter till 8. Perfect. How about this one? There's a 7 and a 50. Okay, so it's 7.50. Yes, perfect. So 7.50 and 60 minus 50. Okay, so it's 10 till 8? Yes, it's 10 to 8. There's a 7 and 55. Okay, 7.55, that's 5 till 8. Perfect. It's 5 to 8, so 7.55. Okay, so how did they know what time it was? Oh. If you look at this picture, they don't have any watches or computers or cell phones. So how did they know what time is it? Mm. Did they use the sun? Sun, oh, that's a good idea. Yes, they use the sun. So this is a story, a uh, history of timekeeping. Before we had watches or cell phones, first uh, they had the radio alarm clock. Many people had this uh, next to their bed. Did you have one next to your bed? I did, actually. You did? Okay. So this uh, started in 1969. 
So that's uh, the radio alarm clock. That's when that started. I did not have one next to my bed. Well, mine was actually for CDs, but... Yeah, okay. So she had a yeah. CD player inside. That's, uh, that's fine. That's good enough. And then before that, that the first atomic clock in 1949. So uh, they didn't really use atomic energy or nuclear energy. It right, just, that would be scary. That would be really scary. They, it, it was just the first electric clock that they used, and it's in 1949. You see how big that, that is? That's big, as big as me, like this. So imagine having that next to your bed. Mm. So that did not happen a lot. So before that, in 1510, that first pocket watch. So it was almost like a watch, but they would carry it in their pockets. Right. It oh. would have been too big, I think, to fit on yeah. your wrist. It would be like this on your wrist. So it's too big. So they would just carry it around in their pockets. You had to wind these up, didn't you? Yes, exactly. So we, the first atomic clock was the first one with energy. So this one did not have any electricity or anything, so you had to wind it. And so it gets enough energy and then we'll start running. Oh. Yeah. So this is uh, what we were doing today as well. So the first sundial was created more than 5,500 years ago. It was used by Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans. Mm -hmm. So this is how a sundial looks. You use the sun, and they, they used to read the time from that. All so right. because that time they did, they did not have any electricity or know how to do gears and time. This looks a little complicated. I know, it's actually really easy. Let me show you how. So how does the sun not work? Let me show you. So first, there is the sun. And I don't know if you can see, but this is east and this side is west. So as the sun rises from the east, goes this way, and then when it's right on top of you, it's noon. And then it sets in the west. So it rises in the east and sets in the west. Did you know that? I did. Yeah. So the, if, you, if you see the sun come up, you know that's the east side. And if you see it goes down, it's the west side. All right. So how did this tell time? Okay, we'll get to that. First thing, did you know that the sun does not go around the earth? Right. That was Copernicus, wasn't it? Oh. I guess so. <laughs> so that means the Earth is there. And uh, I guess before, they used to think that the sun will rotate around the Earth, right? Yes. And that's wrong. If you see here, if you think this is the sun and that's Earth, the sun actually stays almost in the same place while the Earth rotates. And then the one side with, with the sun or the light on it will be day. The other side would be night. So. If it's day here, does that mean it's night over on the other side of the world? No, because if, if, it's, what, if it's day this side, it's night on the other side. Mm -hmm. Perfect, yes. So the sun, the sun will only be on one side. There's only one sun. So it's always on one side and the other side would be night side. Right. When I talk to my family back home during the day, it's always night for them. Ah, okay. Is it the same for you? For us, it's about six hours difference. So sometimes it's the same day. Same, same daylight time. All right. Yeah. So, and uh, this is how the sun now works. So, as you can see here, the sun is there, and there's a shadow on the lamp or the street lamp that goes this way. So, as uh, this is east, so as the sun moves over, the shadow will change. There, it just changed. And every hour, you can see what time it is just by looking at the street lamp. As the sun goes over, it will change. Here it's the smaller, so it will be noon, that's 12 o'clock. And then it will move across. It takes all day, so it takes a long time. And this will be 2 p.m. And so now the sun is that side, going setting in the west. So we'll move to the side. And more and more. And that's how the sun will move. As the sun moves, the shadow will show you what's the time. All right. So a sundial works like that? Perfect. The same way. So this is how the uh, old sundial looks. So there and the sun is there. And there's no numbers here. 
is a Roman numerals. Do you know what's a Roman numeral that is? I do. Okay. So that is 11. 11. So there now it's 11 o'clock. Just by sensing where is the shadow on the sundial. So we can make our own sundial. Did you know that? Uh, no, I haven't done it before. Yeah. How do we do that? Okay, let me show you. Okay, so we're back and then I'll show you how to make a sundial. All right, let's get started. The so first thing we need, we need a paper plate. So here's a paper plate. I'll give you a new one. There you go. So there's paper plates. Right. Then we need a hobby knife. So here's a hobby knife. This one, watch out if you need to use it. Then cut yourself. Then we need a protractor. So here's your protractor. There's a protractor. Okay, shows the degrees. And then we need a pencil. So here's a pencil for you. Thank you. Here's a pencil for me. Okay, then we need a marker pen. So you can use a marker pen or you can use a normal pen, it's fine. But you can use uh, on a paper plate, it will be fine. Okay, right. then a ruler. So you can use a ruler. Or on this protector, we already have a ruler. So it's okay, we can use both. And then we need a compass. So you see where is north. All right, so the arrow is always going to point to north. Arrow no matter how much north. you spin it yes. around. Okay. So there we have everything. So first thing we do. So now we need to get the center of the plate. Just the center and make a hole for a pencil on the center of a plate. So find a center and then use a hobby knife to make a hole in the center. So you need to guess where is the center. Okay, I would think right about here. And just use a hobby knife and just make a hole in, in the center. Remember not too big and not too small. Big enough for your pencil to go through. That's big enough for a pencil to go through, just like this. Not too big, not too small, just big enough for a pencil. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we have to add the center of the hole in a paper plate. The center for the pencil, okay. Next, now we want to write 12. So we're going to use from the hole we're going to draw a line outwards, any way you want. You can go from here, this way, or this way. So you just take your ruler from the hole, just draw a line outwards. So you All can right. use a marker pen or a pencil or a pen. From the center line, just draw a line. Straight out, okay? Straight up like this. From there up, perfect. So this will represent 12. All right, so I'll put so it. So you 12. can write 12. So as you can see here, so you make 12 right on top at the line. Okay, so now we have 12 o'clock. So now we need to add all the different uh, numbers as well. So let's uh, use our protractor. All right. And uh, use the protractor to measure 15 degrees. So you want to measure 15 degrees, this is one five. Um, and then you mark the number one. So use a protector and mark at 15 degrees. So you can write, put it there, precisely in the middle. Like this. Like and this. then you want to line it up. And then you measure uh, right and on 15 degrees, this is one five. Here it's on 15 degrees. It's a one on 15? Yeah. All one right. One and five, yes. So no, no, directly next to oh. the 12 o'clock line. Okay, so we're using. So go to 12 o'clock the line, just to on 15 degrees from the 12 o'clock line. Okay. And then you can draw a line from this the hole in the middle to there, like this. Now you can take away, oh, you can keep it there, or you can connect the line from a lot to there. So now we have, what do you think this one is? Is this 11 or 1? What did we do now first? 
All right, so the next one is... What is this one? Is this one? That's one o'clock. One o'clock. Okay, so now you can write one. So now I have a 12 and a one. So now we just do 15, 15 every time. So again, 15 degrees from there. Line up from the hole. There, and then we need 15 degrees. So there's 15 degrees right there. So now we can connect the line again from there to that side. And we can write what comes after one. Two. Two. So now we have one and two. So it's all one, two. And then we do again. Just 15 degrees from that line. 15 degrees. And again, connect the circle to that line. Just like this. And you just uh, write three. So now we have one, two, and three. So All right. Fine. Okay. So again, same thing again from there, 15 degrees. And then connect the hole to the line. And then you have four. 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 Okay. Then again, 15. And then make another line. Connect the, the line to the hole. And then we can write what comes after four, we can write five. We've got five. So, uh, next one. So the next one should be six. Ah, oh, yes. So here is the next one. If you make a mistake, that's okay. So six. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Just like that. Okay. All right. So let's move to this side now. All right. What the comes? Other. So we'll move. So now we have to do this side of 12. So again, line up. Now this way. Not 12. So now I can do 15 here. Again, you connect the line to the hole in the middle. So what should, do you think we should write here? So that would be seven. Seven? Or 11. 11, yes. So on this side, we need to have 11. So again, 15 to this side. And that would be 10. Just like this. And we can do another one to this side. Next would be 9. Nine, yes, perfect. Next one would be nine. Nine, and we can do another one from this line. And then we have, what's before nine? Eight. Eight, so we can do another one from eight. Go faster and faster. And from seven we can do another one. So that's six, 66. So this, uh, okay. All right. So now we need seven. Right there, yeah. yes. I think I messed up somewhere. That's These okay. don't seem to be even. We'll see in the end how it works. Ah, so I connect the line. So this is a uh, first loop. All right. So Destiny, why do you think we should stop here and not continue and do go around? Remember, it's a sundial. So why do you think we should stop this side and not do the rest? Hmm. Is this because of how this? Oh, because there isn't any sun at night. Yes. So at night there is no sun. So it's unnecessary to do this because you can only read this when the sun is up, when the sun is shining. Okay, so now that we have this one, we did all of the different sides. Now we want to use uh, the sundial. So let's put our pencils back in. All right. So this is how it will look. But we want to put it outside. When you put it outside, use your compass. And you look at 12. And you try to get 
the north and a 12 to face in the same direction. All right. So there's 12, you put your compass there, and then the, it should point to north, the same direction as, as 12. So uh, it's really only possible when you do it this way. So you want it to point north. If it's stationary, uh, okay. So it will be almost like this. Mine's saying almost completely straight ahead. Straight, yeah, perfect. So okay. this will be north to the side. So if this is north, then 12 will be north as well. All right. Okay, then you can put your pencil there. So, so north only works when uh, it's in a northern hemisphere. So nice. I guess here in Taiwan is in northern hemisphere. That wouldn't work for you down in so South Africa. In South Africa though. and south, where do you think the needle needs to point? It needs to point to the south. South, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so the next step is just to take it outside and then uh, go see if it's accurate. Okay, we, we try to go outside, but it's too cloudy outside. You cannot see, it's too dark. So I think we can uh, do it inside if we use our phone and the lights should go off. Ah, there, magic. Okay, so now we have our phone and our sundial. So if you see here... You can turn the flashlight on on your phone. You can turn the flashlight on. And you can rotate it and, and the sun can be the same as your, your flashlight, I guess, on your phone. And as it rotates, the shadow will change on the sundial and will move as you go. If we were outside, where the shadow falls would tell you what time it is. So now it's uh, 12 o'clock, so at this time the sun will be about here. It will be shorter because it will be higher up. And that's how it will, will look. As is the sun, the day will pass, it will move to this side and the shadow will move away. Until the sun goes down. And then the sun will be gone. Okay. All right. So that's the sun now. You can go do it at home and uh, try to make your own one. Right. If it's a little bit more sunny, you can always try it out. Yeah. And it will be more accurate as well. Okay. See you next time. All right. Bye. Bye-bye.